as you know, stocks have rallied in the last few months. Still, government bonds continue to show strength as well. So is this a bit of a con contradiction? One strategist has an explanation and it has to do with what's being called, quote, uh, a journey into deflation. It's our chart of the day. Bloomberg's Dave Wilson is here to tell us what that means. So let's go right to the chart and sure. we talk around it. Can we bring up the chart for everybody? Okay. Albert Edwards, who's a strategist at Societe Generale, mm -hmm. actually looking at markets globally, is trying to make sense out of what's going on here. And his take is that, in fact, you really have deflation in the U.S. economy already. Now, the blue line there is what's called gross domestic purchases. It's the deflator for those. In other words, what people buy in the USA as opposed to what's made in the USA, which would be gross domestic product. That's the, uh, the orange line on the chart. So if you build in the fact that import prices have fallen off a cliff in the past year, they're down about 19 percent, right. then in fact, that deflator is actually negative. It was negative in the second quarter for the first time since 1950. So why are we seeing this? I mean, what's causing it? Well, the economy's not in great shape. I mean, you have a lot of the businesses around the world that are dependent in one way or another on the U.S. I mean, you think about you know, all the imports that, that Walmart gets from China, for example. And there's a lot of competition that comes out of that. Prices are falling. And, and there's a real concern about whether you are, in essence, importing inflation. Because let's face it, if you're a U.S. company trying to compete against an international company which is cutting prices, you may be forced to cut prices yourself. All right, so what about the inflation gauges that are out there? Because they've got a bunch of different, uh, you know, readings. I mean, why is that? What is, what, does he th talk about well, this at all? It, it really comes down to the issue of imports. I mean, that the whole trade balance. Because when you think about gross domestic purchases, you, you, you're adding them into the equation, in essence. And with GDP, mm -hmm. you're subtracting them out. So, I mean, it's a really big swing factor. And it hasn't been that in the past few years. But what's going on in the world economy? It is now. And Edwards is really focusing on it as a lead to what may happen to consumer prices here in the U.S. and also to GDP. How does his outlook compare with the consensus? Because you don't hear a lot of people with this warning. Well, the deflation concerns are out there. In fact, UBS actually did a survey among its own analysts, and they found that 28 percent of them are, are looking for deflation in the coming year, as opposed to 71 percent that aren't. I mean, so it's a minority view, granted, but it's enough of a minority that, you know, people like Albert Edwards, uh, when, when they talk, people listen. So, Dave, what would it mean for investors if indeed he's right? You say people listen to him. Well, his, his take is government bonds ha have been doing much better than you might expect the way the stock market's been going. You know, perhaps they will keep doing well. And in fact, banks will be forced to buy them, if only because the, uh, they got to try and make money somehow. Right. All right. Well, we'll see if he's right, correct? Indeed. <laughs> Dave Wilson, thanks very much. By the way, Dave is a columnist. Yeah. I don't know if we have to say this every time, but his opinion is his own and does not necessarily <laughs> represent that of Bloomberg LP. There you go. I said it anyway. But a cool chart nonetheless.